Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Sunday, November 28th, 2021. I've got the Firebox Scout stove out today and I want to do a burn test in it. Uh, nothing major here. just want to get a fire going in it. This is the Firebox Scout. I did a few videos on it recently. So in this kit I have uh, the capability to use uh, the alcohol burner as bit um, via the tray that's in there today we're going to use wood so I'll take these items out and I'll set it up for a wood style burn and put these aside <clears throat> now the pegs I think you guys can see that I've already prepared some wood some pine cones um, so we'll just do some boiling of water. I haven't used these fuel pucks yet. I'm going to do another video with those. Oops. Put those aside. The tray aside. So this is where you could feed the wood in from the top or from here. If you elevate the stove a little with one of these bases, like I'm going to do in this video. So I'm going to elevate that and then set the set the opening up here so I can load some wood that I pre-cut like that. That way it's on an angle and it burns better. But uh, to get it started I'm going to um, use a pine cone. Get these set. I don't need the pins because I'm going to put the canteen cup directly on the the top of the posts here. So I'll set these two posts in like this so they're in there. I can always adjust them a little. So let me get a pine cone. Okay, I collected a bunch of these pine cones. They burn pretty good. I'll put those in. I'll put a couple small pieces of wood in. And then we'll use some these aside so again guys this type of stove is just so versatile in what it can do um, let me get some fire paste and I want to use fire paste because I showed you guys how nice it lights and so what I'll do is, for this video, I'll put a little right on the end of this stick here. Just like that. See that? And then I'll light it. You could light it with a fire steel, a match, what have you. And so we'll light that with a match. And we'll just put that piece right in there and hopefully get this started. Okay, it's almost like a little torch. Stick that in there. Let that start and we'll be right back. Give you guys a couple of close-ups here. So that's burning. I don't want to bore you while the fire was getting started I want to get a bed of coals then I'll put the water on but I wanted to show you guys some of the way the stove is so you could see get yeah, close up
Got a nice day out today. It's supposed to go up to 64. It's a little mild. The last couple days have been pretty chilly. Down into the low 30s, mid to low 30s at night. Stayed chilly during the days, the last couple days, but uh, it was nice out nonetheless. Um, so I'm going to be making some green tea. And again, this video is just another video in the review series on this stove. I want to get used to using it and get it uh, get accustomed to it, see how it burns. And um, so the other piece you can use as a little, you know, tabletop if you wanted. So yeah, feeding these sticks straight up. I'll put the cup on now. So my water's on, and again, a couple of pine cones, a couple of sticks, one, one of my main pieces of wood that I batoned earlier with the um, Mora knife is right here. I have red wood ready if I need to go longer or want it to cook something else. But yeah, I um, definitely like in this stove, I like the idea that you can instead of fire I could put this plate inside I can put esbit on it esbit tablet on it I could put an alcohol burner on it like I did the other night I could put a fuel puck in there and heat or, or cook with this as well I could put charcoal I could put um, wood pellets etc on there and uh, and again, multifunction, that's what you that's what you want in the field. <clears throat> Put this in the top. But yeah, so I'm definitely liking this stove. I like how it functions. And I'm going to drop a few more small sticks in there. Blow some air on there. All right, guys, the fire was down a little bit. I had to build it back up again. So again, really like how this uh, stove is set up. Like I said, the multi-fuel use, usage is just fantastic. One of the things I'm going to uh, 
right now how I'm carrying the stove. I'm carrying it actually on my uh, my Rad Power Bike, the Rad Runner. I have the stove and the whole setup in the uh, the center piece there. It looks like a gas tank. It's really a storage area, and um, so I got that the whole stove in there, and um, I'm going to do another video on that and show you how I have that bike set up uh, for like um, an excursion, a scout, a, a bicycle camp, whatever. Um, that's going to really be nice. Uh, and the stove is a perfect setup for that particular um, bike because it fits so well in there with the canteen, with the canteen cup all inside the uh, center console there with some other gear, uh, water filtration, uh, the um, lifesaver, water filter, and the uh, hose that goes with it for getting clean water and getting me clean water. So this, this water is already boiling here. You can see, I'll put my tea bag in and take that off. And um, yeah, so this was definitely uh, successful. I like how this works with the, works similar to the G2, the uh, Firebox G2 stove, the, you know, the fold out one, the original. I have that one. I just did a few videos on that. But it works similar to how you feed the wood in if you wanted to through the side ports, <clears throat> the lower side ports. But um, yeah, so definitely happy with the Firebox Scout. I'm glad I got in on the um, Kickstarter campaign and got it for so inexpensive. I think around 30 bucks I paid. Uh, I know it's going to be selling for a lot more. And I got all the parts with it as well. The pegs, the fire grate, um, you know, the whole thing, the, the bag. So very happy about that. And um, so that's the end of this video, guys. Thanks for joining me. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, the Firebox Scout Stove. Anthony signing off. Stay ready. Hey guys, Anthony here. Just broke in the Firebox Scout Stove. Made a fire on it, in it. Made some tea. Boiled up some water. And just show you how that worked. Uh, no problems. I used some pine cones, some small wood. And then some of this uh, wood here that I batoned with my Mora knife right here, the Mora number two, and uh, got myself a hot beverage. Just wanted to show you guys that. Very little wood used. There's some pine cones there and some other wood I have left over, and then my regular wood that I was feeding through the bottom port here that keeps the fire going, keeps the wood going in on an angle. You can see. And so now I got a nice bed, hot bed of coals. I can make something else on here and um, like it a lot. Take care. Stay ready.